Welcome back. And now we have Long's word in quarter byte challenges. So what is Long's word is? So in here we have a function called Long's word, all right? So basically what we need to do is just return the large word in the string. That's it. And in here we have some condition which is if there are two or more words that are the same length, return the first word from the string with that length okay so ignore the punctuation and assume that send will not be empty okay that's it this is example in here if we input fun time but in here we have punctuation we ignore the, this punctuation and in this fun we have a three length in this time we have four so we need to output the large word which is time because they have four okay in here we have uh, i love dogs and i have a length one love have length of four and dogs have length of four so in here we need to using this condition if there are two or more words there are the same lengths return the first word so that's the reason the output it's love okay so easy to understand and now let's copy this paste in here i want to make it a little bigger okay cool so the first is we need to create a variable called array and it's going to be equals to match okay and in here we need to using regular expression okay so we need to oh i think just remove this red line and i want to paste in here maybe this input okay so now we need to if this string match with a until z we need to console log the array okay if i run this function now we have error um oh run this function we have f index zero input blah 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 okay <laughs> so what happened basically in here is we send this string to this parameter right so it's going to be looking for a until z in this string so if if you just doing this it's going to be looking for the first is match f if match with a until z okay so that's the reason the output is f in here so if i add something else in here something like one two three if i run this it's still showing f because f if is match but the index now is three because uh, it's it's starting for from zero and zero one two f is three we need to looking for everything in this string so we need to add g keyword which is global if i run this function now everything is match with r until z it's going to be showing in the console okay so that's why we have fun time we don't have the one two three and the punctuation in here okay so but the problem is if i change the t to capital t something like this if i run this function now t is not showing in the console uh we can add something like a capital word until z if i run this function now we have fun that and the t is going to be showing in the console with cap capital t okay or you can remove this and add i in here i meaning is insensitive so we need to grab everything a until z no matter it's lowercase or uppercase so if i run this function now we have a fun time with 
D and still showing in the console. Okay. So if you want to showing one to three in here, you can add in here zero until nine and run this function. And now we have one, two, three. Okay. But I think we don't need the every number in here. Okay, so but in here, as you can see, every single letter have uh, every single element in this array. We don't need it. We need to every single word have a uh, one element in here. So how do we do that? We need to just simply add plus in here and run this function. So now every single word becoming every single element in this array, which is one, <laughs> no one, which is fun and time. Okay. So next, what we need to do is let's get rid of this. We need to create variable called short. Mm, short. It's gonna be equals to ray dot short. And in here, let's create a function. Let's take a two parameter, which is R and B. And in here, we need to return B dot length minus R dot length. Okay. And let's console.log the sort, sort. If I run this function, now, Time is going to be first element in this array because time have more length than fun. Okay, so if I add something else in here, maybe world, and if I run this function, world will becoming the first element. Okay, that's it. And let's remove this. Okay, so now we know that the large word will be the first element in this array, which is shorten zero, right? So we have time. So let's uncomment the return. And in here, we need to send, we need to set to shorten zero and run this function. And we have time. Cool. So I think that's it for this video and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.